Kibo guys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the covert agent achievement in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This achievement or trophy is unlocked in the Blood Feud level, which is the second level in the campaign. To unlock the achievement or trophy, you must reach the guild meeting without ever breaking stealth. Obviously, the easiest way to do this is going to be on the easiest difficulty, so we're going to go ahead and start up the level on Rookie. I also want to note that if you get caught or noticed, you can just press start and reload your last checkpoint, and the game will basically think you haven't got caught yet. Just make sure you do this right away if you do get caught, because the game will automatically save at certain checkpoints, and if it saves after you've been noticed, then you're going to have to start the mission all over again. After you pick the lock, we're going to go ahead and crouch down, there's going to be an enemy walking to our right, and there's also an enemy uh, down further to the left. Ultimately, we're going to go through this entrance right here and skip both enemies. After that, make sure you stay on the right side, follow this path. There will eventually be an enemy up here on the right. When he's looking out like this, you want to go ahead and silent kill him. After that, you can go ahead and pick up his body and throw him in the water. So let's cut his short. After you throw that guy in the water, we're going to go ahead and follow the path over here to the back gate. There's going to be another enemy right here. Sometimes he does face towards you right here. So you need to wait till he faces the other way and starts walking down. Once he starts walking down over here, we're going to go ahead and go behind him, silent kill him. And for this guy, they won't notice him, so you can go ahead and leave his body right here. After that, we're going to climb up here on the left. You don't want to jump in the window right away because there is an enemy that's going to walk by. So you want to make sure you wait until he walks past the window. Then we're going to go ahead and jump through the window. You could try to attack him right here. However, I went ahead and decided not to because there are other enemies on the second floor looking around and you may get noticed if you take him out so i just wanted to wait until he walked away and once he's not paying attention anymore and walks back i'm going to go ahead and follow him that way unfortunately he started to notice me right here but i didn't get caught you'll know if you're caught if the notification above the enemy turns red and you can go ahead and press start and load the last checkpoint so now that he's not paying attention to me anymore, I'm going to go over here to the left. This enemy basically walks back and forth down this hallway right here. Now where you want to kill him at is when he's all the way over here on the left. Right here, he will not get noticed, at least not right away. After that, you can pick up his body and hide him right there. Now eventually we'll have the enemy walk up the stairs right here. If he hears you, just go ahead and hide behind these baskets right here. This is the next enemy we're going to go ahead and take out. Now you may not execute this exactly the way I am. More so just trying to tell you guys where the enemies are at. And how I was able to get the achievement without getting caught. Now what you want to do is wait for the enemy to proceed down his path over here towards this door. Once he's over here, you can take him out right there in the corner, or you can wait for him to walk further down right here. There's no other enemy right here because we killed him, so you can kill him right here without getting noticed. Just go ahead and silent kill him. Now, just to be safe, I am going to go ahead and move his body where I put the other guy at. Just put him right there. After that, crouch down and head towards this door. Again, kind of looks like a gate. And we're going to have to pick the lock. Just know there's an enemy over here to the right. So you're going to have to do this without getting noticed. All you got to do is wait a little bit and the enemy will turn around. Once he turns around, go to the gate and pick the lock. Yannick's expecting a call from Pantheon any minute. After you pick the lock, we can go ahead and climb the tower. So just go ahead and climb this ladder right here, all the way to the top. 
Once we get to the top, go ahead and grab the sniper rifle. Yannick near the umbrella, upper deck left side, surrounded by barrels. And all you gotta do is follow along with the dialogue. Eventually, we're going to snipe this guy, and then we're going to have to escape without getting noticed. Got your advance. My boys are still counting it. It's all there. Remember, this deal is one and done, huh? Don't need to get mixed up with the CIA. Oh, your pantheon thing. You'll send the hardware tonight, understand? That's not what we agreed to. Tonight, Yannick. Don't test me. So the Pantheon and the CIA are connected somehow. We got what we need. Take the shot. Alright, after you snipe the guy, we're going to go ahead and run downstairs. At this point, they're going to be looking for you. But we haven't officially been caught or noticed yet. So if you get caught, make sure again that you restart at the last checkpoint. What we want to do is press A to go down this ladder and then press B to slide all the way down the ladder. We're going to basically retrace our steps and go exactly where we came from, back through that window. Let's go over here, take a left, take a right. This is the window. And next we want to climb the scaffolding right here. Once you climb it, go ahead and run and jump to the roof right here. You can crouch down or go prone if you need to. But I just really jumped right into the water. Which is also what I recommend you do. Hopefully you're able to jump into the water without getting caught. If so, the hardest part is done. You just want to continue to swim, hold your breath, and then come out of the water when I do right here. And we're basically going to end up in a cutscene. I'm not going to skip through the cutscene because you guys are going to have to watch it as well. So I'll jump back in with some commentary once the cutscene ends. Let's go, please. Hey, turn it down. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. I want to get paid, so we're going to crash that party. Chateau de la Haute Lune, let's go! The guild will lock the restaurant down and meet in a safe room on the second floor. Door can only be unlocked from the inside. You're gonna help me get that door open. We're a few minutes out yet. Just enough time to get changed. There we are. Fits for guild security. Personally, I want these guild bastards dead. Pantheon's the icing on the cake for me. This is my stop. Get to the safe rooms at each chamber on the second floor. An alarm will go off. That's okay. The guild doesn't know you. So your best option? is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for the cue. After the cutscene, you'll have to pick a weapon. You can really pick whichever one you want. We're not going to be using the weapon at all. Once you exit the van, you're just going to basically follow the directions or the waypoint that it's showing you. We're going to go to the side of the building over here on the right hand side. Eventually, you're going to see a kitchen employee exit through this back door. You just want to wait a second until he walks into this dark area, creep up behind the enemy, and silent kill them. After that, you can leave his body right there in the darkness. We're going to crouch and walk into this kitchen. 
In the kitchen, you can find a few throwing knives. I recommend picking some up, as it's an easy way to kill your enemy without getting noticed. They told us to stay here. After that, just wait for these guards to get done talking. They'll start walking down their own paths. Personally, I skipped fighting them both, and then I used a knife on this guy right here. After that, leave his body right there, and then we're going to knife this guy over here on the left. After you get both of those guys, walk up the stairs while crouching. Please get to the antechamber. Trip the alarm. I'll be ready. Walk up behind this guy and silent kill him. After that, you can technically avoid this guy, but I threw a knife at him as well. After that, you should be able to walk into this room unnoticed in which you're going to pop your achievement or trophy called Covert Agent for reaching the guild meeting without ever breaking stealth in the Blood Feud mission. Are you looking to get the rest of the achievements or trophies in the Black Ops 6 campaign? Well, make sure you tune into the channel as I'll be uploading guides for most of them. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit five patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, Kegger101, Rockmano44, Jacob McWilliams, and Eladio Martinez. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.